Hi, I'm Dr. Cohen. I'm a plastic surgeon in La Jolla, California. And I'm getting to a certain stage of life where I think I can look at trends maybe with a drop of wisdom. All of you know what wisdom is, right? Wisdom is you get to a certain stage in life where you realize you don't know SH, you don't know anything, you know, because there's just so much to learn. So anyway, I'm at that stage, and, and one of the things I want to talk about are trends. So, for instance, one of the trends that I think is going to be here to stay, and I'll explain why, are the fox brow or the fox eye. This is a really cool trend, and the reason I think it's so cool is, one, the idealized brow in a woman is really elevated from the middle to the outer third in a really nice way. This is really not a trend. This is a this is an idealized version of beauty that's been around for, you know, since the ancient Greeks and Romans. So to me, the only trend about that is it's become popular on Instagram. But this this little maneuver, that's a great that's a great procedure. That's going to stick around. Now, is it best to do that with a thread? Oh yeah, if you want to try something on for size, the thread's going to go away and maybe you're going to have an effect for about a year. Can it be more permanent? Well, we're not permanent, so it can't really be permanent. You're going to age, so it may require being redone. Even when we do a very minimal temporal, this being the temple, temporal brow lift, Beautiful procedure can be done under local anesthesia and produce that fox eye that you want for a long-term benefit, much more so than just using a thread, although threads are wonderful, easy to use. But that's an interesting trend that's here to stay, in my opinion, because what it's doing is really trying to actualize an ideal version of oneself. What about abdominal etching? Now that's another trend that I think will be here to stay for the right patient. So if you have a male that is obese and you do abdominal etching on them and you give them a six pack, if they haven't changed their dietary habits and their exercise patterns, you can forget it. They're gonna wind up looking pretty strange you know, within a short period of time. However, if you can select somebody that already is doing very well, has a good body habitus, works out you know, consistently, has a good diet, and you treat those patients with abdominal etching and high definition liposuction, you're gonna have an outstanding result. And that's gonna be around for a long time because those individuals wanna protect them. So I think that's a trend that I would call more of a evolution of liposuction from simply removing fat to shifting fat around and contouring and revealing the underlying musculature in ways that we never did before. And I think that is something that will be here to stay until the next disruptive revolution in body contour. Let's talk a little bit about Brazilian butt lifts. Now, Brazilian butt lifts have been around for a long time. The term was coined by actually a colleague and a friend of mine, Luis Toledo, who now practices in Dubai, but is a Brazilian plastic surgeon that was one of the pioneers in liposuction. Um, when that procedure is done in an elegant fashion, it's beautiful because you really are sculpting the human body. But if you're just filling somebody up with fat, you just have to make sure that that cultural trend is here to stay because I see a time where we're going to be treating a lot of those patients with fat removal and liposuction because I don't know if that trend is going to stick around. I mean, you know, the Kardashians are going to get old at some point. The narrow waist with the large rear end is not for everyone. And we have a very sophisticated, very well-traveled, very bright, highly educated group of patients. And, you know, they're interested in looking beautiful, elegant. That is going to be here forever. But whether some of these more um, aggressive fat grafting cases or larger buttock augmentation cases are going to be trends 
Throughout culture, I don't know. Maybe in certain cultural areas, perhaps more popular than in others.